Alrighty guys, so we're going to talk uh, how do we fell a seam. In this instance, uh, this couple of scraps of fabric are representing the seam of a tunic or a dress or something that we've made, and now we want to tidy up the and fill the seam properly. So, how do we do that? Right, you go. Um, now, there's a number of different ways that you can do this. It's going to depend on um, how exact you want your particular garment to look, uh, the period and the culture you're trying to represent uh, and how kind of authentic you want to be but there we go those are questions for you all right so uh, the first thing that I would suggest if we want to fill the seam properly that means we have on top here we have a, a raw edge and that will fray and deteriorate over time and we clearly don't want that to happen so what can we do well what I do now I've allowed roughly speaking um, an inch there for my seams. What I do is I will use a, a pair of scissors and just cut that down. Carefully. Ideally, I would use something like a running back stitch or similar to, um, to do the seam, but we're just talking about the process in this video. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this seam over. Now, I've, as you can see, I've cut the top edge off. Right here. Now we go like so. All right. Now, in order to do this uh, as best, I guess, as we can, we want to use a cap stitch or a whip stitch to fill the seam. So, so I'm lying out the garment flat with the seams uppermost. Now what I do is I roll now you can see the seam closest to me, the, the piece of fabric closest to me has been cut shorter. Now we just fold the seam from the second piece of fabric, that is this one, over the top and then once again. So we're capturing all of the raw edges in the middle. Now we just simply use a, a whip stitch or a cap stitch just to finish that off. So you just want to grasp I guess the oh, um, pieces of fabric fairly lightly and keeping your stitch length about as close as you can so realistically we're talking sort of three mil I guess or perhaps um, four millimeters and then again it depends a little bit on exactly what it is we're trying to recreate so I would suggest contacting um, museums and doing some good research before you decide on your particular stitching technique um, because it will vary depending uh, on the exact location you're trying to recreate uh, for instance the uh, Scandinavian settlers in York were very different to the Scandinavian settlers of modern-day Russia. So in that instance, if I was trying to recreate a Viking from Jorvik or York, then I would be contacting the, the uh, museum and discussing with someone there about uh, stitching types and techniques and see if they could send me some photographs of any um, archaeological evidence they have from the local area. Um, you may, if you're looking at a later period, sometimes effigies included things like that. And that's 
really quite remarkable, I think, both in terms of the stone masonry and also the um, uh, I guess the attention to detail. So we're just using a whip stitch here. Now ideally um, you want to, I guess you use the same color and the same type. So we have a very basic raw linen, fairly coarse linen, and I'm using just a very basic thread here. Um, ideally, you, again, you need to match those and if you're a medieval reenactor, then your medieval reenactment group will give you an authenticity guide which should tell you what kind of fabrics, what kind of threads you're allowed to use. Um, you're very unlikely to be allowed to turn up with anything that's got polyester in, that kind of thing. Um, and, and basically there we go. Alright, so that's how we, we fill a seam. If you do it like well, and I understand you know, hand stitching can be a bit painful, it can be a bit tedious, it can be a bit kind of like it's a long process sometimes, but it does give you a, a much nicer garment and it gives you a, a much kind of more satisfying, I think, uh, finished product. But, um, anyway, uh, I hope today's video has been useful to you. I've really enjoyed uh, having your company. Uh, please like, subscribe and share and I'll catch you in my next video.